What is going on, Synthic Movement? Uh, so today is going to be kind of a crazy video, or actually tonight. As you can see, it's dark as hell outside, but I went hunting today and uh, came back from my hunt, basically. And, you know, I always just look at my, like, wheels and tires, just always kind of check in. And uh, I noticed the rear passenger tire was actually, like, pretty low, so I was like, what the hell's going on? Um, and I, I have a little inflation kit in my truck, so I checked the PSI with that thing and uh, the damn thing was at, I think it was at 15 when I checked it, it was somewhere around 15 to 20. So I'm like, holy shit. Like basically I have all my tires aired at 50 and this thing was sitting at 15. Luckily I had the inflation kit. Um, and so I turned that thing on, that thing ran for a good, I mean, these things aren't even, these little inflation kits, I'll grab it right here. It's like this kind of a thing and um, I ran that thing for about 10, 15 minutes and finally I got it to 50. So right now we just drove 30 minutes and it was a pretty bumpy road and now I'm gonna hit the highway after this. But um, basically we're gonna see, I'm gonna air them up to 50 again. I know they probably went down like 10 to 15. So air them up again and then we're gonna see how long this will last. I'm really hoping it's gonna get me home cause it's, it's like 6.30 right now. There's no shops open so I'm kind of screwed. Um, so we're going to see right now how long this is going to last. Basically, it's leaking at the bead and you can hear it hissing. It's that bad. So I'm pretty sure it's leaking around the whole bead. But yeah, we're going to we're gonna fill it up and then we're going to see what's going on. I did have a problem with this tire um, before. So that's the thing too is I got it bead sealed and it's it's leaking again. So and it, what a random ass time and I'm going effing hunting. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up. And if you guys are new, um, you know, not every video is like this at all. So I'm having upgrades coming soon. So if you're new, definitely subscribe and uh, definitely think about following me on Instagram. I'm gonna have my Instagram link in the description as always. So go ahead and give me a follow too if you like the truck. Um, but yeah, this this video is like solely focused on me getting home with a B leak. So we're gonna go ahead and fill them up and then we'll see what's going on. All right guys, so we're gonna check right now what they're at. This is 30 minutes of driving. Let's see. What does that read? You guys can't see it, but that's at 30 PSI. Look, it's not even quite at 30. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these up to 50 and then uh, we'll see what goes on. All right, so I go, I hope you guys can hear. I'm pretty sure you can, but um, you can see where all the beats there used to be uh, black crap, but uh, you could hear that pretty pretty good probably. That thing's leaking around the whole bead and it's really loud right there. So we're gonna go ahead and hammer back home. 45 minutes, we'll see what it gets to look like. But yeah, this is pretty bad. 52 PSI looks. So we'll see, 52 PSI, we'll see what happens. 45 minute drive. And as you can see, it is 6.38. So I will update you guys when I get back. freaking made it back um that was that was some sketchy ass crap like that was probably the sketchiest crap like i've ever done like you know we we uh basically filled up to 52 before we hit the highway then uh 43 minutes of driving as you guys saw i showed the time and i showed the psi went from 52 psi to 25 psi in 43 minutes almost 45 minutes uh we dropped down that much i guess with it being basically 45 minutes um and it dropping down half the PSI. If I would have went, say another, even 20 minutes, that shit, that might have dropped me to like probably like 15 PSI, honestly. And at that point, my bead probably would have broke. Cause these things are stretched an inch and a half. And uh, you know, you, you guys that you know don't like the stretch tires, I mean, is what it is. You can click off this video. I don't want to hear any of the crap. Like I said, I had this problem with this, so I'm just guessing. I mean, it could be, you know, the tires could be bad. I bought them, you know, used, so I don't really know. But all I know is if I would have drove 
you know, another 40, if I would have drove another 40 minutes, it would have been like literally like the tires, tires would have came off and I would have just been skating on the wheels. So there's no way I could have made another 40 minutes. I would have been an hour and a half. No way. Um, so if I would have did another 20 minutes, probably, I probably would have been down like 15 PSI and there's no way I feel like being that stretch, there's no way that you could, the tires can hold 15 PSI and still be attached to the wheel. So if you guys are ever in that predicament, um, you know, definitely it's, it could be doable. I mean, if you're running 30 PSI in a car, it's probably going to be a little sketchy. Honestly, my truck takes 50 or the tires take 50 PSI. So it's, I mean, really probably the only reason why I got home. So, you know, I obviously would not recommend it to anyone, but if you're in that circumstance, you kind of got to do what you got to do. So, but yeah, I just, I thought I'd make a video of it just in case any of you guys run into this kind of crazy ass problem and uh, you have no, no choice but to power home. So uh, definitely leave a like if it, if uh, you enjoyed this crazy ass video and uh, definitely subscribe because this truck's going to have more and more upgrades coming anyway. So definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.